If you have your GCSE Geography exam very soon, this video here is for you. I'm going to give you some very quick last minute tips just so you can really ace that geography exam. Now honestly with geography, most of the questions are very straightforward. The content in geography isn't that much. I just recommend making some quick flashcards on it so you can really get it into your memory because I feel like the difficult part about geography is the case studies. There's so many things you need to know in terms of like stats and figures that it can be very overwhelming. So what I did right before my GCSE Geography exam was on a piece of paper, I wrote every single case study that I needed to know and I just constantly went back over it and over it and over it to the point where it just stuck in my head and then what I did was I went through past paper questions and I tried to put my case studies in any of those long mark questions even if it was like a six marker or even a four marker if I knew a case study I would put it in if I just remembered something from the news that could relate to the question I would put it in it's just really important to try and put your own knowledge into every question as much as you can because that's always the way of getting the top marks especially in a nine marker you really need to make sure that you have some sort of case study in there especially when it asks you for one you you need to be able to bring in as much stats and figures from that case study as you can. I recommend using the website Core Geography if you are stuck on what type of case studies you should use or where you should get the information from for your case studies but you can really just find any case studies online. Now I feel with geography it's very easy to talk too much and write way too much than you need to especially for the nine markers I feel that I have so much information to say that I just continue writing and writing and writing and I forget about other questions in the paper as well and this can be a very big problem especially for geography because timing is not that bad unless you start wasting time on other questions questions that don't really need that much time especially for those nine markers you do want to put as much information as you can but you don't need to overflow it with information I remember for one of my exams I was on a nine marker for so long that I went all the way to the back pages where you have like all that extra space and I started filling all of that up as well and that really made a time pressure for the rest of the exam because then I was just stuck on time and I had to really rush through the rest of the questions so you really need to be able to balance that time if you have more information you want to say say it at the end you don't need to just continue writing and writing just stop it if you think you've said enough and then move on to it at the very end if you think you want to say even more because I know a lot of friends who did write a lot for one of their questions but then they really lost time for the other ones and if you are stuck on spending time on each question just try and do like nine markers separately and just give yourself about like 15 minutes to do each one and see if you can actually do it in the time given for you. Now this is also a very important tip when you're analyzing a graph which usually happens a lot of the time in geography papers make sure you know when they're saying describe a graph and explain a graph so if they say describe the data in the graph you just literally state what's going on in the graph if there's an increase in a certain year of something or if there's a spike in something just describe it you don't have to say why it could have happened just say it happened on the graph and that's all you need to do don't waste time if it's just a described question but if it says explain the data in the graph you can describe it but you need to also be able to say why the data is how it is so if there was a spike in something in a certain year or like a month or something say why that possibly could have happened that's what you have to bring in your own knowledge of it as well so just really be able to differentiate between those different types of command words that they give you you can check it out I'll leave it in the description below but most of them are very straightforward but for describing and explaining, that's the one that I usually kind of mess up on. You need to be able to know which is which a lot of the time. Now, it's a tip that's mainly for paper one, but it's the fact that you know those like questions near the end where you have to like describe the formation of a type of river, like you know, Oxbow, Oxbow Lake. I still remember that from GCSE. You can use diagrams in that, and I highly, highly recommend you use diagrams. So, for example, let's say it was an Oxbow Lake, you can show the different stages of how it's created and then label them and put like one, two, three, four, and then underneath put number one. And then say what's going on there and then number two say what's going on there if you do it like that and you always mention the different types of erosion and whatnot I've forgotten everything if you do it like that you're going to make it very difficult for the examiner to not give you full marks because they can see everything there. if you check the mark schemes for those type of questions it does say to credit diagrams so if you can always draw diagrams whenever needed to help display your point because sometimes it might be difficult just to say it all in words honestly with geography click through as many exam questions as you can and just see what you would say for all of them if you are a bit stuck on it make sure you actually fill out the entire question so you can actually see if you've got all the marks and yeah that is it for my last minute advice for GCSE geography I wish you guys the best of luck if you're doing your GCSE geography exam get back to revision you don't need to be here anymore <laughs>